welcome back to another episode of KSSH TV. I'm your host, Amanda Valadre, and today we'll be checking in with Savannah Mallory and Emma Minovich about the upcoming musical theater show, Freaky Friday. Next, Kaylee Kusoponon will be talking to some of the art students here about their art gallery. And lastly, we'll end this episode with a very special Thanksgiving ponder on this. Now let's go check in with Emma Minovich about Freaky Friday. Hello, Troubadours. I'm Savannah Mallory, and I'm here with Emma Minovich, the student director of the upcoming musical theater show, Freaky Friday. So Emma, what have you learned from directing the show? I've definitely learned that directing my friends and my peers is super difficult, but ultimately really rewarding. I would imagine. Now, if you could switch with any of the characters, who would it be? I think I would switch with Grandpa because all he does is come on stage to talk about when he's going to eat or sleep. I would probably switch with Grandpa as well. But when and where is the show being played? So the show is going to be December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at 7 p.m. in the PAC. Thank you, Emma. We wish you good luck. Now, back to Owen. Hey, Santa Sue. I'm Owen Taylor, and here are your SSHS updates. School's out November 11th for Veterans Day, as well as November 21st through 25th for Thanksgiving break. November 16th, there'll be a lockdown drill, so stay tuned for that. That's all for your SSHS updates. Now to Kaylee in the Art Department. I'm Kaylee Kusaponon, and we're here with Alyssa Huang and Kira Rico to talk about their experience in AP art class. So Alyssa, when did you start creating art? Well, the earliest I remember is elementary school, but I didn't get into it until middle school. Wow, well let's check those out. Oh my. What a beautiful montage. I love that. So, what forms of art have you tinkered with? We have almost every type of media in the classroom, from scratch boards to watercolor to clay. And while everything is available for us to use, I tend to stick with more digital art because that's what I'm familiar with. But since we are developing our AP portfolio, I get the opportunity to experiment with my style and practice things that I want to be better at, like figure drawing and environments. Thanks, Alyssa. Now, Kira, what's your favorite art styles to work with? I like to experiment with a lot of different types of art styles throughout the years. I've gone through a lot of phases, cartoon, watercolor, knife painting. But lately, I've been doing a lot of multimedia artworks, abstract, and even some portraits. What gives you inspiration to create new art pieces? I've never really been passionate about anything else. Throughout my life, I've always been inclined towards visual art and how it makes me feel. And I get a lot of my inspiration from pop culture, books, music, and a lot of my own photography. Thanks so much for sharing your story with us. Now, let's check your artistic ability. You have 30 seconds to create a clay sculpture. Of what? Of Alan, of course. 30 seconds on the clock and begin. Kira and Alyssa are both fierce competitors. Alyssa typically focuses on digital art, shown by her work on many of the school's posters and designing the senior sweatshirt. But Kira may have an advantage as she focuses on many different forms of physical art. Will her versatility give her the upper hand? Let's hear what Alan thinks about this. So Alan, what do you think they'll struggle with the most here? I think that they'll struggle with my natural beauty the most. You know, it's like my mom always said. Oh, and that's time. Let's check in with our contestants. So, what do you think of your art? He's very small. It's pretty accurate. Great. And you can keep your sculpture if you want. No, thanks. That's all for AP Art Class. Oh. Didn't see it come in over there. Those are some pretty art pieces, weren't they? Just can't wait to see what those kids do with their bright futures. Oh, and Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So in lieu of this very special holiday season, we're going to be having a new, exciting Ponder on This, hosted by none other than Ferret Renfro. Hey, Troubadours. I'm Varen, and as most of you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. So to get into the spirit of thanking and giving, we're going to be doing a very special edition of Ponder on This, where I ask students what they're thankful for. Uh, <laughs> Gobble gobble and whatnot. Hi, what is your name? Uh, my name is Miles. Hi, Miles. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Probably being at this school. It's really great. Honestly, real. Me too. Hello, what is your name? Nolan. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I don't know, just the fact that I have good grades in all my classes. Can't say the same for myself, but thank you. Hi, what's your name? Jaden. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Um, 
That's a good question. Hi there, what's your name? Uh, my name's Aiden, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Uh, I'm thankful for my family and uh, the opportunities they have at this school. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Uh, Madison. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Uh, life, I guess. I'm happy to be alive. Hi, what's your name? I'm Persiana. Hi, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Margot Robbie. Me too, honestly. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'll just say I think I met a lot of really good people this year, you know, friends and everything like that. I had really nice classes and everything. And uh, music, my one of my biggest thankful things to, you know. What's your favorite song? Uh, I probably have to say, uh, man, what was that one song? Uh, <laughs> Jump Around from House of Pain. I love that one song. Thank you. That's all for today, Santa Sue. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon if you would like to be notified for future videos. Also, don't forget to follow us on at KSSH.TV, where we post behind-the-scenes clips and some of our favorite bloopers. And lastly, scan the QR code if you have some upcoming future segment ideas, and they might just be featured in our next episode. And that's all for today, Santa Sue, and I'll see you later. <laughs> That was my impression of a car.